my most amazing artists. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. Today we are starting a brand new project. And this project is all about pumpkins. And I'm super excited because fall is right around the corner and I think this project will be almost done right as the weather starts getting cooler outside. So hopefully it can get us in the spirit for fall and autumn as those leaves start to change color and Halloween comes around and you start seeing pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. Um, so that's kind of what this project is inspired by. We are also gonna try out a really fun technique later on in this project, okay? But today our first step is to draw our pumpkin and we're gonna use different lines and shapes to do that. All you're going to need is a piece of paper and a pencil. And when you're choosing your paper for this project, just make sure that it is a white color because we are going to be coloring this with oil pastels later. Um, so oil pastels stand out really nice on top of a white piece of paper. And of course, if you don't have oil pastels, you can just use crayons. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna write our name, okay? Um, just go ahead and write your name and then we're gonna flip our paper over so now our name is on the back. We don't wanna color and draw on the same side as our name because then we're just gonna cover it up. So put your name on it, flip it over, and now we are ready to draw our pumpkin. Okay, and before we start drawing our pumpkin, I just wanna give you a quick little tip and I'm gonna show you on the back of my paper here. When you're using a pencil, I want you to remember, please draw it light until you get it right. When I say that, it means do not press down really hard on your pencil because then you're making a dark line. And if you make a mistake or something, then when you try to erase it, it's not gonna go anywhere. You're still gonna be able to see it, right? But if you draw super light and softly with your pencil, then when you make a mistake, if you make one, then you can easily erase it. Okay, so try to use those little sketchy marks while you're drawing today. It's great practice to do that um, because like I said, if you do it super dark, and then it's gonna be very hard to erase. It's also gonna be hard to color it later. So just make sure while you're drawing your pumpkin, you're practicing using those small sketchy marks and honestly, I'm barely touching my paper with my pencil when I do this. My pencil is just kind of grazing across the top of my paper and I'm barely pressing down. If you want, you can turn your paper over and practice doing those um, light sketchy lines with your pencil um, just so that you can get the hang of it before you start drawing your pumpkin. Okay, and once you're confident using those light sketchy marks with your pencil, we are gonna get started, okay? And this is going to be a draw along with Miss M. So go ahead and pause this video, grab your paper and a pencil, come back and draw along with me, okay? Make sure you don't skip ahead. Um, and if you need to pause the video or re rewind it because I'm talking too fast, then feel free to do that as well. Okay, so I'm actually gonna put my pencil down for just a second and I'm gonna find the middle of my paper, okay? This is gonna be pretty symmetrical, this pumpkin is, because this side of our pumpkin, the left side, is going to be the same as the right side. We wanna keep it symmetrical. So I'm trying to find the middle of my paper. That's going to be my line of symmetry right here. So once we found the middle of our paper, we are going to find the top middle and we're gonna come down, do 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 about right there, not all the way to the halfway mark, a little bit above the halfway, and we're gonna make a little dot. And I just did it very lightly because I am definitely gonna erase that later. And then down from this dot here, we're gonna bring our finger down almost to the bottom, but not all the way to the bottom. And I'm gonna make another mark, okay? this is going to turn into the center of our pumpkin. And we're actually going to draw an oval connecting these two marks that we already made. Okay, so I'm practicing with my finger first and an oval is like a stretched out circle, right? So a circle is like this, an oval is like a long circle like that. Okay, so I'm practicing with my finger first just so I can get a feel for it and then when I feel confident I'm gonna take my pencil very lightly and I'm gonna start sketching out an oval shape 
connecting those two dots that we made. It doesn't have to be perfect at first. Just try your best, and since you're drawing light until you get it right, you'll be able to erase any mistakes that you make, okay? Okay, so I'm just getting my oval shape good, how I like it, I'm using those little sketchy marks with my pencil. And there is the middle of my pumpkin. And you might be thinking to yourself, Miss Sam, this looks a little bit weird right now. Don't worry, it will come together because now we're gonna start on the right side of our pumpkin and I'm gonna start up towards the top and I'm gonna draw a backwards C. And it's gonna start at the top, so I like to do little dots where I want my line to start and where I want my line to stop. So I want mine line here, my backwards C that I'm about to draw to start on the right top side of my oval and it's going to come up and down and connect to the bottom right side of my oval here that we just drew. And we don't want this backwards C to be super big, okay? We want this backwards C to be kind of skinny. Okay, so my finger's starting at the top, going down to the bottom, and I feel confident and I'm gonna draw it light till I get it right. If it helps, you can rotate your paper a little bit while you're drawing. I really like to do that because it helps me get a better angle of where my pencil is going. Okay, I'm drawing that backwards C. It's coming down and it's gonna come back up like a C and it's gonna hit where I want it to end, okay? And I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit, get it exactly how I like it before I move on to the left side. And we're gonna do the same exact thing. So where I made my first dot up at the top, I'm gonna bring my pencil over and I'm gonna make another dot at the same height, but it's on the left side now. And let's do that to the bottom side as well. Just like that. And these little dots are just marking out where we want our lines to start and stop. We will erase them later. And I'm gonna take my finger now, and we're gonna do the opposite of what we just did. So we drew a backward C, now we're gonna draw a regular C on this side. Remember, we don't want it to be a giant letter C, we just want it to be kind of skinny, almost as skinny as our middle oval here. So I practiced a couple times with my fingers, and now I'm going to take my pencil and draw very lightly. Bring it up like a C, bring it down all the way until I get to the bottom, and then it's gonna curve up just like the letter C, okay? If you're not happy with the first time, then take your eraser and try again. No worries. So we're starting to add those segments of our pumpkin, and we are gonna do another one, okay? so. On this side of our C, the backward C that we did, we're gonna draw another little dot kind of towards the top, almost at the same height as our other dots that we made over here. And we're gonna draw another backward C. And I want it to end down at the bottom, just like this one did. We're gonna practice with our finger first. We don't want it to be a giant C. We want it to be kind of skinny. Okay, so take your pencil and I start at the top and we're gonna draw a backwards C very lightly. Just like that. And we're gonna do the same on this side, but we're gonna do the correct way to write a C. We're not gonna do it backwards. So draw your dot where you want your C to start and where you want your C to end. Draw with your finger first, a C, a letter C shape, and when you're confident, take your pencil and draw it lightly until you get it right. After you draw that last C over on the left side, then you are done with the basic shape of your pumpkin, okay? Um, these are the different segments. You should have one, two, three, four, five segments on your pumpkin. Okay, and we can go in now and erase those little dots and fix your lines because we don't need those dots anymore. And I'm just gonna erase them and fill them in with the lines that were already there. Just 
just like I said before, we wanna make sure that this pumpkin is symmetrical. So we started in the middle of our paper and we drew an oval. An oval is symmetrical already because it's a geometric shape. It is the same on the left side and on the right side, okay? But for our overall pumpkin shape, we also want that to be symmetrical. So we drew two backward C's on this side and we flipped it over and made right C's or the way you normally write C's on this side. So now our pumpkin is symmetrical, right? Because if I drew an imaginary line down the center of this pumpkin shape, this side is the same as that side. Almost anyways, I'm human, it's not perfect and that's fine, yours won't be perfectly symmetrical and that's totally fine. And I wanna draw a ground that this pumpkin is sitting on. So I am gonna go kind of towards the bottom of my pumpkin and I'm gonna draw a line on this side and I'm gonna pretend from this line that I drew, I'm gonna pretend to draw a line over my pumpkin until the line of my pumpkin ends over here, I'm gonna draw another line. So it looks like there is a floor here that our pumpkin is sitting on, okay? And we have one more step to do and we are missing the stem of our pumpkin. So we're gonna come up towards the top and the stem is a pretty simple shape. It's just two curved lines and a line connecting them. So you can draw it how skinny or fat you want your pumpkin stem to be. Um, I think I want mine to just be a normal size. So I'm gonna draw a curved line going to the right and then I'm gonna come over, depending on how fat you want your stem to be, you're gonna draw another curve coming off to the right, and then you're just gonna connect them with a diagonal line, just like that. Okay, once you have your pumpkin drawn, the floor drawn, and your stem, then you are done for today, okay? Do not color this yet, we're gonna color it next week, but put this drawing in a very safe place because, like I just said, we're gonna use it next week, so we don't wanna lose it, we don't want it to get ruined. Okay, I hope you guys have a lot of fun drawing your pumpkin. I can't wait to see how they turn out. I know they're going to be amazing because you guys are amazing. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.